بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته So what are we here to learn? We're here to learn about three spheres of productivity spiritual, physical and social We'll talk about a new understanding of productivity Normally when we think about productivity we think about doing more work getting busy, getting things done. But what we're going to talk about today is more about how does productivity can be understood in a holistic sense. How can spirituality help us become more productive? How can managing our sleep, nutrition, fitness help us become more productive? How can being socially productive and being active in the community help our productivity? These are three spheres of productivity which we'll cover today inshallah ta'ala. The first question I want to ask you is why do you need to be productive? And I would like to hear people from the crowd to shout out why do you need to be productive? Why did you come this morning? Say it again. To get? To get more time to get things done. Okay, someone else? Multitask, someone else? Oh, multitask is bad. Don't. Don't multitask, we'll talk about that later. Okay, someone else? Life is precious. Life is precious, brilliant. Okay, life is short, life is precious, let's make most of it. Someone else this side? This side, please. I want a big loud shout, don't use the mic, loud shout. <coughs> louder, louder, I can't hear you. Hello? Somebody? Please? Okay, this side. Okay, be someone better. Okay, a lot of us decided to come here because we feel that there's more that we can do, but somehow we're struggling to get more done. We feel that we need to do a lot more things. We need to be more productive, we need to be more active. There's a lot more we can do. We want to achieve big things, but something is stopping us. Either we feel lazy, either we procrastinate, either we feel sleepy all the time, either we feel tired, either we just can't be bothered. And that's what we want to cover today. How can you be productive and activate yourself so that you live a life more fully? So the first thing I want to say is that productivity actually makes you happy. Any of you had a very boring vacation? Raise your hand. Wow, you guys have great vacations here. You all go to Malaysia or something. Right? Most people have very boring vacations because they didn't do anything. Right? They, they had a vacation, great, time off work, finally. You go on vacation, there's nothing to do. And you're like, why? Suddenly, your, your work, your vacation becomes meaningless. Life becomes meaningless when you're not productive, when you're not striving towards something. Happiness is when you strive towards something. That's why a lot of people struggle. When they just watch TV all day long, or spend Facebook all day long, yes, they might feel active. After a while, they feel unhappy. They feel something is missing and they feel useless. And that's the worst feeling a human being can feel. A feeling of, there's no point me being here. So being productive actually is about being happy. And the reason why this is, is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us as slaves on this earth. And as slaves, we are made, we are made to worship. We are made to work. We are made to serve our master, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we're not here to relax. We're not here to chill. We're here to be productive. So man was created as a slave on this earth. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I'll bring man to do what? To be a khalifa on this earth. A khalifa is sitting now watching TV. A khalifa is a guy who sits down on Twitter all day long. Again, I'm not against Facebook, Twitter, social media, YouTube. Have fun guys, have a good time. But I'm against our entire life being like that. Man was created as a slave to toil this earth and become Khalifa on this earth. We are happiest, we are most ecstatic when we fulfill our purpose on this earth. But then people ask me, Hamid, when do we relax? When, when, do we, when do we rest? If you're saying our purpose in this life is to be productive, be active, and again, don't think being productive means just work, work, work. 
means living a holistic lifestyle. When do we rest? Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal was asked this question once by his own son. He said, Abi, when will we relax? Because he saw his father toiling, praying at night, teaching in the morning, going out, taking care of his family. So he goes, Abi, when will we relax? He goes, when my right foot enters Jannah. When my right foot enters Jannah, that's when we'll relax. And that's how our attitude towards productivity should be. You shouldn't feel that we're here to just rest it out, to just chill it, as long as I have a nice, comfortable life. And those people who are living a comfortable life, after a while they feel agitated. Again, feeling useless, feeling meaningless, unless they're being productive. A philosopher said, we take no pleasure in existence except when we are striving after something. 